a great part of the great outdoors, North Country Outdoors Radio. All right, hi everybody, Kurt Quinnell back on Lake of the Woods. This is Tuesday morning, uh, after the opener. We fished Saturday and Sunday, fine, it was good. Uh, yesterday, well I uh, took a project day. Sunday we quit at noon and I, I put new bunks on my trailer the help of Mark and Steve, who I couldn't have done it without. And uh, so let all the glue dry on the carpet and everything. We, uh, I just left the boat in the water all day yesterday. It was windy. It got better late in the day and there was a few people out because there always is. But I wasn't going to fish in a day like that anyhow. Now this morning it's a little windier than I thought it would be. But it's fine. There's uh, barely white caps. We're going to get set up. And we'll talk about how the season's gone so far and, and uh, see what's going on Tuesday. Now this week, forecast getting better every day. There's some rain coming Wednesday night to Thursday and maybe a little bit Wednesday and a little bit Thursday. But uh, the winds are going to stay tolerable. So I'm all excited about that. Um, the thing that about the weekend, I'm going to talk about it now. Uh, and I saw one of the other guys posting the same thing. There was a lot of of uh, keeper fish, a lot of small fish, but the, the big ones uh, were few and far between. Well, after the spawn, the big the big females kind of, uh, they go on a little binge right away and then they, they do nothing for a while. Now remember, the ice has been off here for at least three weeks, probably four. So we are uh, further along in the system in the season than, than normally we'd be. So I think that we caught on opening weekend just the time when the females weren't really going. But by uh, Sunday morning, heck, we caught two really nice ones. We caught a 26-incher and a 27-incher. There's three of us fishing. We fished from uh, 8 o'clock until noon, and that's all we did. And so the, the, I think that the big fish are going to go here now, big, between now and probably a week after Memorial Day or further off. If I'm going to get set up. It's a... Uh, oh, here, let me show you. If I can get this off. Yeah, all right. Wind's coming from the uh, southeast, and heck, that's fine. I'll just take it easy and uh, get out to the spot. When I come back, we'll be fishing, right? <laughs> All right, well, I tell you, it's a lot windier out here than I thought it was going to be. Pretty big waves. I've got the Mega Live going. All right, there's my bait. I've got that jigging spoon back on. So uh, it is, I'm not sure what time it is, but it is. 7.50, 10 to 8 in the morning, and uh, I'm fishing. And kind of hoping this wind goes down a little bit. But uh, I'm set up. It's pretty good. I would be tucked behind the windshield, but the sun is over that way, and that wouldn't be good for shooting video, so I'm taking one for the team here. First one of the day. <laughs> well, actually, that's going to be a little. Ooh, really little. But it's a little walleye. Well, no, but. There we go. We got my little seagull friend right behind waiting for cast offs today. I've seen them go after walleyes that day. When it's windy like this, you just gotta settle down and uh, kind of get used to things. It's 7.55, so I put it 7.50, wasn't it, when I started? So four minutes in, I get that first fish of the day. I'll show you what I've got here. That clam rattling chicken spoon, all right? Don't expect that rattle to last all day. The fish really hit this thing hard and my blinking light behind that. I got bit off on uh, Sunday, so I had to retie that whole line. I, I kept the uh, blinking light, but the jigging spoon was gone. But uh, I've got a good supply of them. I don't want to be out of that clam pro tackle stuff. All right, here we go. As soon as I got that line down after that fish, I got another one. There's a bite coming right away again here. 
Get on there. Come on, baby. Oh, he's go. You can see him down there kicking around. But see how that display is moving? That's just the waves going up and down. The boat's moving. <laughs> and the water's moving. Come up and bite. Well, he bit once. I hope he didn't take my bait away. I'll check it here in a sec. Thirty feet deep here. I'm gonna talk about water levels for a minute. Water level was really low last fall. Well, most of the summer actually, right? But then it gets lower in the fall, and it's way low in the spring, and it was. But uh, since the ice has been out so long, they've had plenty of time to control the depth of the lake. This is a this is a thirty foot spot, and here we are. We're locked in on this same spot where I fished a lot, and it's thirty feet. Thirty feet. Uh, water levels may still be a little low, but it, now it's only a little. This is good. Got a treble hook below this jigging spoon here. And I'm just pinching that minnow in half, right? Feeding the back half of that seagull. Everything gets harder when it's windy. Everything. Alright, we'll go back. There's been plenty of fish around here. Nice fish, but fifteen and a half inch goes in the bucket today. Jeez, the boat is just rocking. Click that one. Like I said, those are the kind we were catching over the weekend, and suddenly uh, we were up north on Saturday and caught a couple uh, on the skinny side of the slot, a 22 and a 20 incher we caught up north, and then. Uh, Came back here and on Sunday, heck, we caught a 26 to 27. So that kind of makes the guy think that the uh, the big fish are waking up. Let me show you this too. I've got a uh, bobber stop on the line right there, and I put that uh, so when I let out my line to the bottom, I can see it. I don't have to wait for jig to even hit the bottom or the jigging foot. If it's windy and you really can't feel much, it, it really hampers that. If I just let out line, this one's big. Uh, I just let out line till I got the, uh, this. Good job, buddy. Come on. One, two, three. Right in the corner of his mouth. Making a play for that one. This one might be a 16 incher. I know I've said it a lot, but boy, if you use a treble hook, you gotta have a pliers. Ah, 
Oh, this one's, I thought this was bigger. This is just a 15 incher, it's a little bit smaller than the last one. Live, you got all this stuff up here. Uh, when it's when it's windy, one of the things the wind does is aerates the water. That's just air being shoved on into the system through those big waves. So wind is important. I know that. Let me show you this so you know that I'm thinking about stuff anyway. Here's my life jacket. All right. I put it on underneath this pop jacket because I'm so fat that it squeezes me too much when it's on the outside so if it had to expand I go there's plenty of room for it in there so when I'm on the boat alone here's a good tip for you yeah put on the life jacket even if you're going a mile less than a mile out like I did poked a pretty big hole in that minnow's head. Gulp, uh, these are earthworms, redworms. That's all it is. And I just put that on the hook behind the minnow so you can't just fall off by flipping off over the hook. Okay. And I can't imagine that piece of gulp hurts anything at all by having it on there. Gulp's an attraction. Okay, here's my bobber stop. I'm set again. What? Right away? There he is. You just hit it. Well, I see him on there. He's ripping at it. Come back, buddy. You did. Lift you up a little bit. Now I reel. There we go. Got him. Huh. Well, he felt pretty big at first. As big as a dive. I don't think. I think maybe a little bit sideways. Yeah, I hooked him underneath. Kind of supercharged it. Well, I lost my minnow, but the uh, gulf is still on. a lot of bait. Here we go. Well, you know, this would pull it. Say, Ooh, it's an 18 incher, but it's going to be a, a 13 inch sauger. Well, I'll tell you, there's a, if there's, if there's one thing in this lake that's probably most predominant, I'd say it's 13 inch saugers. Boy, there's a bunch of these. Ice fisherman's dream. I lost my piece of gulp there, but if I hook this guy good, I won't worry about it. There we go. I'm going to fill up that seagull just on half minnows. Uh, 25 minutes in. Yeah, I got those ones right away, and I guess I've been catching right away. But the, uh, well, this one's nicer. Like I said, I didn't just hook my jacket, did I? What? Nice walleye here, boy. <laughs> I tell you, it's treacherous. I gotta try this. It's a 17-incher, all right? I'm not gonna... Try to get in front of the camera of that. Uh, if that fish had any kind of luck at all, he'd have got off. I, uh, I couldn't get him out of the water. I couldn't get him over the rail. But that treble hook was in him pretty good. All right, back into the bottom. Here we go. Three in the bucket in a half an hour. 
And I'm not keeping little fish 15 inch walleyes and if I catch a 14 inch sauger, it's going in the bucket too. That's that's keepers. This is another sauger in that 13 inch range. They're skinny. No, not like they've been skinny. Get out of here, buddy. You can't have them. Well, I suppose you could have them. I am going to run out of my first bag of minnows pretty soon. And when they do start biting, you're catching them fast. Don't, uh, don't goof around because they can quit at any time. Usually something happens, like the wind will switch directions a little bit, or it'll quit, it'll come up a little bit more. But, uh, like I said, they bite a lot. But, uh, you can't figure it's all day fast and furious. Now, it might be, but that's unusual. fish, huh? Well, that was my uh, fourth walleye, but I haven't got a sauger in the bucket, so I can stick around for a while longer. That's another 15-inch walleye, so I've got that 17-incher, and uh, what, a 15 and a half and two 15s? Oh, it's uh, 8.47, so I've been here three minutes less than an hour. And I've got my uh, four walleyes. They're just fine. Now, if I can't get a couple saugers quick, I'm not going to sit out here and beat up these walleyes either. If you haven't already done it, uh, subscribe to the Kurt Quinnell YouTube channel. Uh, where is that? Well, if you're watching this video, if you saw it on Facebook, wherever you got it, uh, you know, you, that took you to my YouTube channel, all right? Click subscribe on that page. You'll find it somewhere. If you do that, then every time I get a new video, you'll be notified. You don't have to worry about missing it. <laughs> God, you'd hate to miss one of these. But I'll uh, keep you up to date what I know is going on in Lake of the Woods. And I'll be fishing a lot, so I'll have good information and current information for you. Aha! Well, it's windier than I thought it was supposed to be. You out there? Yeah, you. yeah, I'm out here. I'm, uh, whoop. I've got uh, my four walleyes. I'm going to quit here in a little bit, but uh, fishing's pretty good. Okay, All right. Oh, I think it's done. Yep. All right, that's it. piece of gold. Well, Jiggy Spoon, you did a pretty good job here today. It is uh, 9.13. So, less than an hour and a half, 
Huh? And actually, I had my four walleyes in the in the hour pretty easy. Let me show you. I'll be right back. There they are. That's a, a decent bunch of walleyes you don't throw back. So heck yeah, a very nice morning here. As the season just kind of getting underway. Again, I'll keep you in the loop. I'm Kurt Quinnell from Lake of the Woods, and hopefully we see you out here soon somewhere on the water.